Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about geometric means. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is actually requested class from our students and our subscribers in Facebook and YouTube. I would like to give thanks and shout out to them. So good luck to your exam class. Just keep fighting. We do have many examples class of geometric means. I will just put the link in the description down below with regards to geometric means. Let's focus first class in this question. Insert four geometric means between 112 and 7 over 2. So we do have six terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to insert geometric means in this given two terms. Now, class, before we answer this one, do you still remember class in geometric sequence? Example class. 3, 6, 12, 24, and so on. Now, if the teacher will ask you class, what will be the next number after 24? How will you get that number? Of course, you need to get the common ratio, right? So, to get the common ratio, you just simply divide the second term by the first term. So, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. You also check class dividing the third term by the second term, 12, divided by 6, that is 2. So, therefore, the common ratio is 2. So the common ratio is 2. So, check this one class. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Now, to get the next number, you do it reverse. You multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 2, that would be 48. And if you if you check class, dividing, you going going to the left. 48 divided by 2, that's 24. Going to the right, you multiply. 24 times 2, that is 48. So, the thing that you will do class, in geometric means... You need to get the common ratio. Once you get the common ratio, you do it reverse. You multiply class. Once again class, to get the common ratio, we divide the second term by the first term. So that is 2. We divide the third term by the second term. That is 2. And once they have the same answer, that will be the common ratio. Once you get the common ratio class, you do it reverse. You can multiply to get the next term. So therefore, if we get the common ratio in this given terms, we can just simply multiply 112 by the common ratio and that would be the next number. The next number multiplied by the common ratio, that would be the third term. I hope you get this one class. To get the common ratio, divide the second term by the first term and once you get the common ratio, you do it reverse, you multiply. Alright, so let's get the common ratio class, given with these terms. Alright, so the formula in geometric sequence, that would be a sub n, equals the first term multiplied by the common ratio raised to the power of n minus 1. So our a sub n class is the last term. So a sub n is the last term. So we have 7 over 2 equals our a sub 1 is the first term. So that would be 112. Then just copy r class because we are told to find the common ratio to get this next number. So copy r. Then our n class is the number of terms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6. Then minus 1. Alright, so simplify. This will be 7 over 2 equals 112. Then copy R. Raise to the power of 6 minus 1. That is 5. Alright, so this time class, we need to isolate R. So we need to remove this 112. Now to remove this 112 class, you do have two solutions class. Okay? Let's discuss this two solutions class. First solution is you can do the properties of equality. The multiplication property of equality. But most of the students class, they are so confused with it, with these properties of equality. Do not be worried class, we will explain this one step by step. So you can multiply both sides by one, 1 over 112. So you can multiply both sides by 1 over 112. Why is that sir? Because 112 divided by 112, that is 1. So you can cancel this out. Alright? And then once you multiply both in the left side, in the right side class of this equal sign, once you multiply it by 1 over 112, you also do that on the left side. 1 over 112. Alright, so cancel this out. So the remaining class will be this one. You multiply class. 1 times 7, that is 7. Then 112 times 2, that would be 224. That's 224 equals r raised to the power of 5. So once again, to remove this 112 so that the remaining equation on the right side is just r raised to the power of 5, you multiply both sides by 1 over 112. 
Okay, so that we can cancel this out. 112 divided by 112, that's 1. So you can cancel this out. Once you multiply on the right side, you also do that on the left side. So 1 times 7, that is 7. 112 times 2, that's 224. And we have 7 over 224 equals R raised to the power of 5. Alright, so that's the first solution class. Let's have the second solution. So the second solution class, because many of the students class, they are so confused with these properties of equality. So you can do it this one class. You can do it this way. Alright, R raised to the power of 5. I will just write R raised to the power of 5. So that's the same. 112 quantity r is to the power of 5 is just the same with this one. So to remove this 112, you can divide both sides by 112. So divide by 112, divide by 112, and you can cancel this out. So divide this one, simplify. 7 over 2 divided by 112 over 1. Understood that there's one here. So 7 over 2, the fraction, divided by 112 over 1. So once again, rules in dividing fractions class, you need to get the reciprocal of the divisor, then you proceed to multiplication. Once again class, in dividing fractions, you cannot divide the fractions directly. You need to get the reciprocal of the divisor, then you proceed to multiplication. So this will be 7 over 2, change this sign into multiplication, 2 times, then get the reciprocal class. The reciprocal, this one will be the numerator. This 112 will be the denominator. Just exchange class. Okay, this 112 will be the denominator and this one will be the numerator. So 1 over 112. So 7 times 1 is 7. 2 times 112, that's 224. You will get the same answer class a while ago. So 2 over, uh, no, 2 over 224. So it depends on you class, which do you prefer? So I will just explain the two solutions because this one, this, this is actually better class, multiplication property of equality. But once again, most of the students, they are so confused with these properties of equality. So that's why we need to explain the two solutions class. It depends on you, which do you prefer? So the answer class will be 7. So once again, 1 times 7 is 7. 112 times 2, that's 224 equals r raised to the power of 5. So we just cancel this 112. Alright, so before we extract fifth root both sides, you check first what? You check first class if we can reduce this fraction. Can we reduce this fraction? 7 and 224. We cannot divide 7 divided by 224. Of course, that's a decimal answer. We actually allowed class to have a decimal, but it will be complicated to have a decimal answer. So the thing that we will do, you check first. Can we divide 224? Can we reduce this fraction? Let's check if we can divide 224 by 7. So 224 divided by 7. So 22 divided by 7, that is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. Subtract 22 minus 21, that is 1. Bring down 4. 14 divided by 7, that is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. So subtract, that would be 0. Alright, so we can reduce, so we can reduce this one, 7 over 2 to 4, we can reduce this one by 7, okay, we can reduce this one by 7, and this will be 7 divided by 7 is 1, 2 to 4 divided by 7, that would be 32. Okay, once again class, before you extract square root both sides, you check first class if we can reduce it the fraction because it's mandatory class in fraction that you always reduce the fraction to its lowest term so there will be 1 over 32 all right so this will be 1 over 32 equals uh, raised to the power of 5 once again class 1 over 32 is the same with this one we just reduce this one by 7 7 divided by 7 is 1 2 to 4 divided by 7 is 32 all right so that we can remove this Raised to the power of 5, this exponent, you extract square root. Uh, no, not square root. You extract fifth root. You extract fifth root both sides so that you can cancel this out. Extract fifth root both sides. Cancel this out. And this will be, okay, this will be fifth root of, fifth root of 1 over 32 equals R. So we just cancel this exponent. So, 5th root of R is to the power of 5, cancel this 5, and this will be the, the equation class. 5th root of 1 over 32 equals R. So, the 5th root of 1 over 32, you think it this way class. 
What will be a number class that when you multiply it by itself five times, you get one? Okay, to simplify this one class, you think of a number class that when you multiply it by itself five times, because this is fifth root class, five times, you get one. So what will be that number class? Fifth root of one over 32. For the numerator, you think of a number that when you multiply it five times, you get one. Of course, that's only one, right? Because one times one times one times one times one, one times one is one times one is one times one is one times one is one so the fifth root of one is just one now for the new for the denominator class you think of number that when you multiply it five times you will get 32 of course there would be two right let's check class two times two times two times two times two so two times two is four times two is eight times two is 16 times two is 32 so, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. Therefore, the fifth root of 32, that would be 2. Why is that, sir? Because when you multiply 2 by itself 5 times, you will get 32. So, the fifth root of 32, that is 2. So, the fifth root of 32, that is 2. Because you can simplify this one class, the fifth root of 2 raised to the power of 5. So, 2 raised to the power of class, 5 plus, it means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that would be 32. And you can just cancel this out. That's why the answer is 2. Alright, so the fifth root of 32, that's 2, and the fifth root of 1, that is 1. So, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, that is 1. For 32, fifth root of 32, that is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that is 32. So, our R is 1 half. Alright, so that's it. That's the common ratio. Now, once you get the common ratio plus, it would be really easy for us to find these numbers. Alright, let's find the numbers class. So, let me erase this part class. We'll be finding the numbers now. Alright, so let's find the numbers. Okay, so let's find the numbers. I hope you understand it one class. You find the common ratio. Once you get the common ratio, go ahead. You multiply. So the ratio is 1 half. Alright, so 112 multiplied by 1 half. So understood that there's one here. Once again, you have two solutions in this part. You can simply multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. So let's let's explain this. 112 times 1, you can multiply the numerator. That's 112. Then 1 times 2 is 2. So 112 divided by 2. 112 divide 2. So this will be 11 divided by 2. That is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract 1. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Then 0. So 56. Alright. So 112 divided by 2. That is 56. So the next number class will be 56. So you can have this solution class or you can do it this way. 112 times 1 over 2. So you can just simply reduce this one. 112 divided by 2. That is 56. Then 56. Understood that there's 1 here. 56 times 1. That is 56. Then 1 times 1. This is, this is already 1 class. Because 112 divided by 2. That is 56. So understood that there's 1 here. 1 times 1 is 1. 56 divided by 1. You will get 56. Same answer class. Alright, so next, 56 times 1 half, so 56 times 1 half, so once again, you can reduce class, you can actually reduce this one, or let's just simply multiply class, 56 times 1 is 56, 1 times 2 is 2, understood that there's 1 here, so 56 divided by 2, so 56 divide 2, so 2, then 4, 5 divided by 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, subtract, 5 minus 4 is 1, bring down 6, 16 divided by 2, that's 8, 8 times 2 is 16, subtract, 0, so 28, alright, and then, so 28 times 1 half, so 28 times 1 half, this will be over 1, 28 times 1 is 28, 1 times 2 is 2, so 28 divided by 2, that would be 14, right? Okay, 14. Alright, and then 14 times 1 half. 
So when it, once again, you can just simply cancel this out. 14 divided by 2, this will be 7. 7 times 1 is 7. But if you're confused, go ahead, class. You multiply the numerator. Understood that there's 1 here. 14 times 1 is 14. 1 times 2 is 2. 14 divided by 2, that is 7. So this will be 7. And even if we check 7 times 1 half, you will get this answer. So 7 times 1 half. So understood that there's 1 here. 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. 7 over 2. That's it, class. That's how you find the geometric means between the given terms. So you find the common ratio. And then once you get the common ratio, you multiply. Alright, so that's it. I hope you learned something new today, class. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, class, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.